Okay, um, this is called five creepy moments in non-horror video games. So that means like these ain't even horror games and they got some creepy moments in here this top five unknowns like his channel to me it's kind of creepy like he he be having some like weird videos like i don't know i that's just be that would be something that i will probably want to watch with people because he got some videos up on here and it's all like man i don't want nothing to do with them but anyways Let's see what this video is about. I mean, it might even be video games I didn't play that didn't even realize that what part was creepy. Gamers didn't expect these creepy moments in these games and we're in for a true shock. This list may contain spoilers, so just beware. Uh, I say. Lady Comstock's Ghost. This creepy scene comes from Bioshock Infinite. Oh, Although I got that game. fairly creepy at points, it's not a horror game. No one expected this. Lady Comstock was the first lady of Columbia, which is the primary setting of Bioshock Infinite. She was allegedly murdered and is back to haunt. Her first appearance in the game is rather creepy. I probably would have opened fired. I probably would have been shooting, acting crazy. All like, I what just happened? To, to make it even worse, uh. she chases you around screaming and muttering some pretty creepy phrases. Not only does she do this, did I mention that she sends her dead ghostly minions to attack you. She is also extremely difficult to defeat, but once you succeed, she makes a rather scary departure. It sounds just like that witch on um Destiny, so... Coming out of Thief, Deadly Shadows. Oh, I played this game too. Wow. Not Deadly Shadows. I did play a game called Thief, Thief though. Deadly Shadows is the third installment in the Thief series. Released in 2004 for the original Xbox, it's a first person and third person sneaker stealth game. The main character is a master thief who aims to steal his way through the city. In a rather creepy mission called Robbing the Cradle, you are placed in a building which was once an orphanage and an insane asylum. If that wow. wasn't creepy enough, did I mention? that is haunted. It's home to undead remains of inmates known as puppets. You also get guided by a creepy ghost girl, but that's not all. There are also creepy sounds that occur around the building, such as doors furiously banging. That's why you can hear me now. I want to leave here, but I can't. The cradle won't let any of us go. Will you help me? Number three, Dang. Max's Nightmares. This creepy nightmare comes from Rockstar Games PlayStation 2 game. Max, Max Payne? Max I Payne played this. I played three, but not this one. NYPD detective who is trying to avenge the murder of his wife and baby. In this creepy mission, you play through one of Max's nightmares. It is truly terrifying. There is a creepy red tint to the mission, and not only can you hear creepy screams from his dead wife, you can also hear cries of his dead baby. There is also a creepy scene in which you are walking through a hallway which looks as if the wallpaper is decorated for a baby. The walls wow. then get covered in blood. The cries and screams continue as you pass through an eerie maze which looks like a trail of blood. Oh, this is so weird. That is weird. No, oh, I'll probably, I, no. secret room. This creepy occurrence is from the game Psychonauts. It's a platform. No, nope, never. I never heard of that. Xbox and PlayStation Two in two thousand and five. In the game, you play as a character called Raz. He is gifted with psychic abilities and runs away from the circus in order to try to sneak into a summer camp for those with similar powers so we can become a psychonaut. The game isn't creepy at all and is rated T for teen, but this scene completely caught players off guard. During a mission, you go into the mind of a character called Miller and learn her memories. This is where it gets creepy. You learn that Miller was once in charge of looking after children at an orphanage, but to accidentally burnt down, killing all the children. The memory must wow. haunt Miller as the scene is quite disturbing. Manifestations of the children appear, and you begin to hear whispers coming from the children. They say things such as, Why did you let us die? and Save us. Yeah, that is pretty weird. Number one, Batman's dead parents. This extremely creepy scene comes from Batman Arkham Asylum. I got this. I got this. It's game based on the superhero Batman. Released for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 in 2009, 
The game had some fairly bizarre points, but this scene scared players the most. During a mission, you pass through a morgue in a scarecrow induced hallucination. While in there, you come across two body bags. Once you take a peek to what's inside, you find Batman's dad in one and his mother in the other. His dead parents then come alive and speak to him. They both speak in a frightening ghostly tone. After this, there is a spooky surprise. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that probably I probably would have done the same thing. I probably would have passed out. Dang, that's crazy. Whoa, well, can't wait till I come across that level. That's some weird mess, man. I say probably the only creepiest game I've came across. That was a horror game, I believe. It was uh, Fallout 3. I did not like that game. That game, it was like... I, I couldn't sit down and play that. Like, that game was just too much for me. Like, you know, God, go ahead and be all like, Oh, you're scared of a video game. People were scared of the games in here too. Some of them levels. But Fallout 3, that was like an all-around horror game. Everything was like five times the size that it was supposed to be. Don't really want to deal with that. So, um, I, I don't know. There's like that. I don't know. That last one seemed pretty scary. And then the one with Max Payne. Uh, what else? What was that first one? What was the first one? Let me, let me see what that one was. Oh, it was Bioshock. I don't know. Like that one, it kind of reminded me of like, uh, Destiny, like the witches or the wizards in there, whatever they call them. That's what that, that's what that reminds me of. That, it doesn't seem all, that first one didn't really seem all that scary. Like after playing Destiny, it's like anytime I hear like a loud scream or whispers or any of that type of stuff, it's, it's it's not gonna scare me but that last one in batman because uh he it does take place i believe in an asylum and so you know i mean just by judging from the name it's like they ain't calling it a crazy home no they're calling it an asylum they hitting it at the core and so i don't know i i wouldn't people couldn't pay me all the money to go they like see because like stuff i don't like <clears throat> asylums Funeral or not funerals, but um graveyards stuff like that if a video game involves me going in I mean Batman is an exception to the rules. Okay, cuz I'm Batman But if it was like, you know, see if you can escape the graveyard or the asylum or the haunted house Games I wouldn't play so you know Let me know what kind of games that you found creepy and things like you know Cuz I know there are some other games out there. He probably didn't name but uh, it seemed like there is a lot because he only does like yeah five and stuff. So yeah, everything that he does is five. I'm pretty sure there are some other ones too. He just got like the ones everybody was talking about. But anyways, yeah, let me know or comment below. But yeah, once again, this is top five. That channel that provided me uh, the video, um, it is top five unknowns. So go subscribe to him, show him some love and things, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Please like, subscribe, and peace.